I mean, I guess you could say my track record with uh, my vegan girlfriends hasn't been so great. Uh, the first three blocked me on Instagram before I could even DM them. And the last one, I didn't even bother. Uh, so, you know, Hitomi was a little, you know, Michael Daco, too much to deal with. Uh, second girl, Victoria, a little rough around the edges, didn't really want to talk to me. And that astrology chick was just complete freakazoid. Uh, the most recent girl, I mean, she spent half the day eating and the other half of the day walking back and forth to the bathroom. So we didn't really have time to talk, let alone do anything fun. Uh, so maybe uh, maybe Frankie Boy should uh, switch over to the vegan fairy boys instead of girls. Uh, but uh, I guess we could give it one more shot, right? Let's see what's up with this one. Maybe her healthy vegan diet has uh, given her a few extra brain cells. Don't you love a lukewarm glass of tap water filled with fluoride and chlorine? <laughs> then, then you follow it up with a giant mug of anti-nutrient laden coffee to destroy your adrenals with the caffeine. Man. Maybe we should send her a message on Instagram. It's kind of crazy how they care so much about their appearance. And then, and then the next scene, after she puts that moisturizing cream or whatever on her face so she looks better, is eating possibly the worst foods for your health, for your stomach, for your gut. Certainly nothing in any of these foods that's for your skin health. And none of these vegans have any common sense. You know, your skin is made of protein, amino acids, B vitamins. That's the primary component and they don't consume any of that in their diet. You know, considering the lack of dietary protein for vegans, especially like highly bioavailable animal-based sources, how come no one has come up with an idea to sell vegan men's sperm? I, I, it's kind of crude and gross, but I'm genuinely surprised it hasn't happened yet. Oh wait, no, that, then again, vegan men's sperm probably has no protein or minerals in it. And I guess you can't really, call, all right. You can't call them vegan men, but we're getting off track a little bit. So it's oatmeal with a bunch of seeds and sugar. Very typical what we see vegans usually have in the morning just full of anti-nutrients, full of sugar, full of agrochemicals. And hypothetically, if there weren't any pollutant concerns with this meal and the seeds and the grains were sprouted and fermented properly, it wouldn't be too horrendous, but you know, we're a far stretch away from that. You know, from the tap water to the coffee to this, not a great start to the day. No, it is winter and I just want to quickly talk about a supplement that I take every single day in the winter because I think it's so important. I have it in my fridge actually because it stays fresh for longer. So vitamin D. In the summer your body can produce vitamin D by absorbing sunshine or sunlight through your skin. Uh, in the winter you cannot. So a vitamin we got a real thinker here, but uh, you know, how much stuff did they put in the water over the past dozens of years to, uh, to make people have to think this hard about a vitamin D supplement? 
The supplements is something that I take every single day in the winter and I actually don't take it in summer because I feel that I get enough sunlight. So this vitamin D from Vivolife is made from algae. It has vitamin K2 for better absorption. If you're going to sell a supplement, can you at least understand the correct dosage to get your blood levels to a moderate amount? You know, 2000 IU per day, which I'm assuming she's taking just during the winter months, isn't going to even get you into the minimum range that doctors think is healthy. Realistically, you have to take, you know, seven to 8,000 IU per day consistently for a year or two just to fix deficiencies that most people have. Uh, this specific one, algae oil, K2, probably an MK7, is a very low quality supplement. I'm sure it's oxidized. There's much purer stuff you can get out there, you know, the ones I have on organ supplements. And I certainly don't expect these vegans to start talking about the fat soluble vitamin synergy, the need for magnesium, and all the other stuff for this. And for faster absorption, it is in liquid form. I also take a vegan B12 every day, and this is also in liquid form for fast absorption. It has the most active forms of vitamin B12. Now, vegans really are paper value warriors. You know, they'll eat quinoa, which has all the amino acids if you combine it with brown rice or some nonsense like that. I don't know the specifics. Point is, they think on paper they're getting amino acids, they're getting protein when it's going in one end and out the other the exact same way. And that all they need to take is a couple little supplements here and there. And they're still wondering why their skin is peeling off and why they need to get half their colon cut out after five years of following the diet. So you can check them out if you want to. So my initial thought was actually to show you my morning routine in a like winter fall edition but to be honest the time was just creeping on me and we have a lot of things that we are gonna do today so that video I will save that for later. One of the things I'm gonna do is to brow lift, like lift my brows if you have ever heard of that I, I think it's called brow lamination as well and so Depending on how I look afterwards, if I look like a freak, I will not film, <laughs> but if it looks good, I will show you. you know, from what I've seen, a lot of these women are very superficial and care so much about their appearance that if they actually had an understanding of, of what made you healthy, every single girl on the planet would be eating two pounds of steak every day, no questions asked. But you know, with all of the conventional health wisdom being fruits and veggies are good for you, whole grains, healthy, you're going to look good, it's the opposite. These poor girls are wasting away. In the first week, I looked like a freak, and then they faded and everything looked great. So, we'll see. But for now, I'm gonna make lunch. So the ingredients I'm gonna start with are some potatoes, cal cauliflower. Isn't there like an inside joke that all Scandinavian people are boring? Like it's like talking to a wall? Yeah, cauliflower and carrots. So I'm gonna chop these up and I'm gonna place them on an oven tray and while those are baking I'm also gonna cook some quinoa and then make the dressing so everything should go in about 30 minutes or so. So I also added some Brussels sprouts and chickpeas which I have just rinsed from a can. So now I'm just gonna add some spices which is... I mean it is easy to do, it is marketable, you know, hey go vegan, eat vegetables have no understanding of food quality or food sourcing or nutrients. Just uh, don't eat meat and sell our Vivo Life supplements. In and some salt and some paprika powder. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This gives a really oh, nice God. color. Oh, God. That much spices. And lastly, there's probably some like ground up ants in those spices that she's craving. A drizzle of oil. You can make this oil free. But it tastes better, better with oil. So now I'm just gonna combine these and bake them in the oven. I wonder if there's like a tally somewhere of vegan hand injuries from cutting avocados. Must be risky, cause you know, you cut your hand once as a vegan, you have hard time with the blood clotting because you don't have enough vitamin K2. You start losing iron. You get anemic even faster. You start doing, oh, you know what? I just had an idea. The reason 
that vegans switch from like oatmeal and hot breakfast to like cold acai bowls is because they lost too much ferritin, too much iron in their blood from slicing their hands open while cutting avocados. Therefore, and for those of you that don't know, when you're anemic, when you're iron deficient, sometimes people crave ice because uh, it like keeps the brain awake with oxygen by giving that sensation. What's with the gold silverware? <laughs> Didn't that girl last week have a gold spoon? There must be some sort of inside secret club. But all, all of these vegan meals look similar. They have a ton of starch, a ton of cooked food, ton of fat. They're clearly craving calories, but it's all low quality. It's full of agrochemicals. It's not organic. It's not prepared properly. You know, they douse it in 15 different spices and there's no semblance of animal protein or omega-3 fatty acids. After this lunch, I made some errands and I also fixed my eyebrows. So here we have a sneak peek. They are pretty intense, but they will calm down. All right, boys, who has better eyebrows? I'm gonna have to be honest today. Her eyebrows look pretty good. I also had a snack, which is a cinnamon. Then again, I don't spend uh, half the day or I don't spend any time actually fixing my eyebrows. Roll, I shared the recipes on my stories a few days ago and now it's time for dinner. So this is a recipe that I just came up with as I stood there. That was a very quick skip through the cinnamon roll, but yeast, vegan butter, plant milk, sugar, regular flour, vegan butter, super, super high omega-6, super inflammatory. Now, if you just used butter and milk, you know, these actually would be not bad for you. They'd have animal fats, animal protein, and maybe just a bit high in sugar and refined carbohydrates. But when you make this vegan with the plant oils, it makes people very, very sick. The recipe that I just came up with as I stood there. So I'm putting sweet potatoes in the oven and I'm preparing a um, lentil mix. So red bell peppers. And it's just insane. It's just insane. You know, let alone like hundreds of years ago when people had more common sense, but if you show these videos to people in certain countries and this person's living in this opulent, expensive apartment, all this nice stuff, beautiful multi-thousand dollar oven, like, and they're eating this crap, they're not eating meat. Smart city, slave diet. And some red onion, and then I'm mixing everything together with some corn and also some black canned lentils and i'm adding cumin salt and lime juice your body literally can't digest any of the foods in that dish and then i'm just adding on top and avocado and also some coconut yogurt mixed with some lime juice and some chili flakes on top i i guarantee you that it goes out the same way it goes in and so many people like sweet potatoes but you know, with myself and with a lot of people I've worked with, the digestibility, it's just so low. No one ever really seems to do well on them. You know, white potatoes like russet or red potatoes are even way better off. And, you know, you could add stuff like peppers and onions, seasonings for flavor, you know, if they're high quality and they sit well with your stomach. But when they compose the whole meal, like, what's your body actually absorbing? You know, you're not getting caloric nutrition. You're not getting animal protein. You're not getting high amounts of vitamins and minerals. You're just potentially poisoning yourself with whatever agrochemicals that food sucked up when it was being grown. I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel and then we see you in the next one. Is this the, uh, is this the best that Big Broccoli could recruit? I don't know what to think of this anymore. Are some of them just naive enough to believe this? I know some of them are really smart and they just go along with it and they're good actors, uh, but uh, who knows? Maybe they're all just a bunch of liars. At least they could be a little creative and happy and engaging with it. But I guess after you deprive yourself of food for multiple years and all you think about is steak and pizza and burgers, then uh, it's hard to focus on anything else. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Let me know if there's any lovely vegan ladies uh, out there that I haven't reviewed or taken a look at. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, 
and click that notification bell so that YouTube doesn't notify you of my videos. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.